uh, morning and welcome to our European morning call. And uh, well, we've got a, not a lot happening with the Euro despite yesterday's ECB meeting. Um, you can see the volatility here around the uh, press conference. Um, we did see some volatility there up to 122, 185 uh, and then down uh, well, we then we slid it all the way down uh, to 121.4 um, in the afternoon as that, those inflation numbers from the US were also digested, but now we're pretty much unchanged. So not a lot happening there. The ECB sticking to the script, uh, not tapering asset purchases, but upgrading forecasts uh, for growth and inflation. So it's a positive but dovish um, ECB also said for the first time since 2018, it said that risks to the outlook were broadly balanced. Um, Indices this morning a bit mixed. Um, uh, when we went to FTSE trades at 7100, um, just shy of these. Remember this sort of level up here, uh, 7120 is our key area of resistance just up here. You can see it's hit that on a number of occasions um, in the last in the last uh, few days. Uh, and then up here is the post pandemic peak, um, which I might want to add. Um, a line up here, um, just up there about 71.66. So continuing to rally, uh, this trend uh, still in force, put it on the four hour, you can see uh, even longer, this trend very much uh, in play here, um, just topping out that this region. So just losing a little bit of momentum. You can see the divergence on the MACD as well, indicating uh, uh, a bit of divergence there. You can actually draw all the way back um, to here. And you can just see that whilst we've been in this rally, the MACD has been diverging. The, the, the peaks in the MACD have been fading. And again, here, if we drill into this bit here on the MACD, you can just see, uh, again, a sort of fading of momentum. So potentially shaping up for a pullback. Um, if we do, then you'd be looking potentially um, at the lows sort of around this region here, 6840. I think that's the cash, the cash market lows around 68. I think 6840, 6860, that sort of region. Um, that would be a potential area of pullback. So watch out for that one. US was up to a record high yesterday. S and P 500 um, rallying uh, to an all-time high. Uh, it climbed half a percent to record closing high of 4239, uh, but it hit an intraday high of 4249. Um, and this morning, uh, you could see, oh, sorry, yesterday morning, that's it up there. Um, so uh, positive session in the US. Uh, inflation was high, but everyone knows it's going to be high at the moment. Um, in uh, gold, we can see that the pullback in yields, but although the inflation reading was really high and higher than expected, 10-year Treasury yields are actually um, trading lower. So one spot, 4, 3, 6% on the 10-year, lowest in three months. And that's helped gold um, rally, particularly as inflation is high. So um, in times of high inflation, gold is a good store of value. Um, and if the Fed at the same time is keeping it, the thumb on yields, then you've got a perfect conditions for gold, really. Um, yields low, inflation high, you want to own gold, basically. So uh, gold doing quite well, up about now, securing 1900 again. So we're we'll looking to see if that can kick on um, and break out of this sort of trading pattern that's been in this sort of range up here, see if we can break out to this sort of range around 1960. That would be a potential target if if we do see a break of the recent peaks at around 19 to 16. So watch out for that one. Uh, the setup on gold, as I say, low front end yields all the way to 10 years, pretty low, 1.4%. Um, and then high inflation and high inflation expectations uh, are positive for the metal. Anyway, that's it for the moment. Uh, we'll more for you later.